Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 20. Well, that last episode was a doozy, wasn't it? And I'll be honest, I was a bit surprised at the comments. I expected some of the comments to be about the intersection, sure. But all of them? Nobody even mentioned the incomprehensible mess resulted of the extra speedy time compression. Anyways, don't worry, the main focus today will absolutely be about fixing the traffic. Thankfully, we only need to build two roads to make it all work a million times better. Apart from this fix, we will also at last introduce vehicle scrapping into the Republic, as well as a way to recycle the metal we extract from both the dismantled trucks, as well as the general waste we cannot burn in the incinerator. Before we get started, if this is not your first video from this channel, you already know what to expect. If you want to be kept up to date, please consider subscribing, and if you like what you see, leaving a like will also help letting me know what to focus on. But enough talking, let's get into it. Before we get started, we need to take care of a couple intersections. During my tests, I did manage to completely clog them up with the current signs, so giving certain directions a priority will ensure that they keep flowing, and not grind the entire country to a standstill. Here, this little stub of a road will come in real handy. I didn't really plan to use it for anything, but now it will be the start of the bypass going to the border, so the grain and fuel delivery trucks can go around the problematic intersection at the town. To go over the river, a simple brick bridge will do the trick. We don't need vehicles to drive over it at lightning speeds, but we do need it to be built in a timely fashion. Let's see where we can split off the main highway. Okay, this side is good to go. But it's only half of what we need to keep that intersection clear of traffic, we also need a way for trucks to enter the industrial sector from the refinery without going past the construction offices. I think if we quickly redraw this particular road at the fuel offices, then we can use it to connect with the refinery. That third office is not being used now anyways, so we can safely cut it off for a brief moment. Next, we should use a road waypoint to force the refinery commuter buses to use the new bypass exclusively. Right now they are only doing so in one way, but we should really force them to do it for both. Well, looking at the footage, it seems they did use it both ways, but the line arrows on the road weren't on the right path. Next, let's do the long overdue vehicle scrapping facility. Instead of paying other countries to take used vehicles off our hands, we should instead scrap them, and recycle the materials we can reclaim from them. And since this place will generate quite a bit of scrap metals, we should also hook it up to a steel recycling plant. It won't get rid of all the garbage we will generate here, but it will help us to reclaim a bit of extra steel. Now, I did struggle to find a place for this facility that would also allow us to build a road going over the rail tracks. Please bear with me while I try to sort this out. Finally. Took me a bit, but we got there in the end. I knew we will be able to make it, 
since I did see the road appear a couple times as we were moving the ghost image around. In the meantime, the road demolition got finished, so we can draw the final one at last. I mean, we could have just used the existing road, but that would have looked a bit wonky. I suppose we could add a dirt road to speed up the overall process a little. Wait, there is an awful lot of rubbish in that garbage dump and it seems it's 100% scrap metal. It seems we managed to get a situation where we had pure scrap go into the dump, so it got separated out from the ash completely. That's pretty good, should actually be helpful. We will be able to just pick it all up and shove it into the steel recycler. Well, both roads are under construction, we cannot really do anything about traffic until they are both done. So all we can do is wait at this point. Hmm. I did want to continue building this embankment for a while now. We could take this opportunity to do so. Instead of taking a hard 90 degree turn along the coast, Let's do a more gentle one, and maybe not make it a right angle either. The 100 meter long piece is too long. I would like to keep the palace to stay pretty centered, so we need to use smaller pieces to make it all work. I think 90 meters will do the trick. Two small 10 meter pieces, followed by a 50 meter one, and then two more small sections. That should make it all click together nicely. Not completely perfect but close enough to be barely noticeable. Now we build more going at the same angle to make it all go nicely together.
Not quite sure if we can fit in another 100 meter long piece, but we need more than 10 meters too. 50 meters should do it. Okay. This is as far as we will take it today. We will take care of the accessibility in a little bit, but I did want to check on the progress of the road construction first. Going pretty well, considering the traffic issues. Shouldn't take too long to finish them all from here. Even the recycling is going well. We are just lacking bricks at the moment, but they are already on the way, they are just stuck in traffic. Hmm. I forgot to smooth the road while placing it, and now we have a pretty sudden dip right at the bridge. Well, I sure as hell won't do it all over again for such a small imperfection. Should wake up some of the truck drivers at least. And we have bricks in the storage again. We'll be done building the bridge in no time. and we just finished the reforesting technology. Once we start up our own foresting industry, we won't need to worry about replanting trees anymore. At least that's what was promised. Never really gave this one a try myself. Anyways, let's take care of these embankment pieces next. We need to give access to them for the construction vehicles. I will not bother making a nice looking footpath for now, just a temporary jumble. We will make it nice later. I know we really don't need to connect up all of these points, but I can't be bothered to check which ones are for the same embankment pieces, so I just do all of them, and let the construction crew sort them out. I also made sure to set them all to low priority. We really don't need to be too hasty with these, even though we will manage to complete them before the episode is over. Only the bridge remains on this bypass road. And it only needs the asphalt to be laid down, so we are almost done. I think it's time to consolidate another set of loans. We were just about able to do it at the end of the last episode, so we should be able to do it by now.
All right, the border side bypass is done. We can place the waypoint and tell the crops delivery trucks to prioritize using it over the main highway. That should take quite a bit of load off of that central intersection. Once this road is done, we can do the same for the tanker trucks exporting the fuel and bitumen. That will completely solve our traffic issues. Just to have a bit of spending money, I think we can renew one of the older loans. I would prefer to have a bit of financial wiggle room. Nice. Once again, we can place the waypoint and use it to force the tanker trucks to use this bypass and not clog up the town roundabout anymore. Things are already looking a lot more healthy and once the tankers also settle into the new pathing, things should flow a lot smoother. And here I remembered about that gas station we placed earlier. We only need to upgrade the roads, fill it up, and vehicles can refuel a lot easier. And in the meantime, the two new recycling facilities also got completed. To make sure they work, we just need to buy a single garbage truck, and use it to move the metal scrap collected at the incinerator into the steel recovery plant. Wait, those load orders are backwards. Let's reverse them, and maybe specify to only carry metal scrap, and nothing else. We have traffic issues at the border now. Well, we have a couple busy lines going there, so if we tell one of them to use the other customs house, then the issue should solve itself. And this is why we needed to change the signs at the start. Changing the line caused all the trucks to suddenly go for the grain silo at the farm. The two intersections are very close together, and if we don't give them a clean way out, they can easily end up blocking each other. Alright, the gas station is done. It just needs fuel deliveries, and vehicles no longer need to go all the way into the heart of town to refuel. Incidentally, we also managed to reach the limit of the first fuel distribution office. 
From now on, we will need to use the second one, until that one is also full. How about we deal with the pump jack roads next? When we first laid them down, they were a bit of a hodgepodge. Sadly, we still need them for maintenance, not just for fire safety. I think if we build them closer to the pipes, they won't stand out as much. Alright, all the buildings are in range of the construction offices, so they will be automatically maintained, which is all we require. But, they still look a bit ugly to be honest. How about we plant a small forest around them, and try to hide them among the foliage. Nothing drastic, just a sparse collection of trees will do the trick. And look at that. The roundabout is practically free-flowing, with zero buildup in any direction.
while we weren't looking, all the embankment pieces got built. Well, that was a lot faster than I anticipated. We can get rid of the construction paths. Next, we can safely push the shoreline back now, so we can reveal the actual embankment walls. That about does it. Not perfect, the corner pieces didn't really want to cooperate, but it's barely noticeable. Next, we need to trim back the grass a bit, so it doesn't stick through the pavement. Well, to be honest, I would prefer to only have these as decorations, instead of usable attractions for citizens. There are a lot of them, and they all require garbage collection. If we build a lot of collection points along the shoreline, that would kind of detract from the aesthetic, so I think I will turn all of them off. This fire reminded me just how lucky we are to have these helicopters. Imagine getting a fire while we had that big traffic jam at the roundabout. We could have lost some buildings. You know, we really don't need both garbage trucks to use the dump to pick up what they need to move away. We can tell the older one to just use the main incinerator building. We have more than enough parking spaces in there, so it should be fine.
Well, before we say good night, I wanted to finally give a proper name to this town. This name has been in my to-do list for a very long time, so it's only fitting to use it at last. I really don't want to butcher it with Polly, so I think we will just call it Dolny whenever we need to say the name. I also have one stored away for a future airport. Other than that, I think I will stop accepting any more suggestions. I will either use the game's default names, or I will just convert some notable pop culture place names to sound a bit Slavic, and use those instead. I only use these last two names because I promised them a long time ago, and I still haven't fulfilled those promises. Well, I think this is pretty much it for today. Not too bad for a day's work. We managed to solve the traffic issues, and we also got around to setting up a bit of recycling in the form of a vehicle scrapping facility, as well as the steel recovery plant. I will need to make sure to enable recovery in the scrapping building, so we can claim back as much usable materials as possible, and only put things in the garbage that cannot be reused immediately. And having access to this now opens the possibility of replacing some of the older vehicle models we have running around. We will need to go through every single vehicle we have, and check if we have better alternatives available already. If we do, then we should consider replacing them. And I think we are still not quite ready to move on to the next town. As much as having homemade steel would help us out, I think we still have work to do on this city. We have room for more houses along the riverfront, and we definitely need more workers to satisfy the industries we have. So the next episode might be about a bit of town expansion, including services and internal transit for workers. Plus, we should be able to reach the border with the track layer in the next one, so we can buy a pair of EDK 300s, which should make short work of the remaining track laying we need to accomplish. Anyways, if you haven't done it already, I'd love it if you subscribe to the channel, and leaving a like would also let me know that this video was worth making. If you feel that it was good enough, and you can afford it, please consider going to my Ko-fi page, which you can find in the description, and donate an amount that you feel is appropriate. And if you did like what you've seen, there should be links to some of my other videos and playlists on the screen. Thank you for your support, and I'll see you in the next one.